Let us learn about DVM Pro CAD mode. DVM Pro is supported in Windows XP, 732-bit as well as 64-bit. In order to use the CAD mode, at least one version of AutoCAD 2010, 2011, 2012 must be installed. LT version is not compatible. After running the program, check if you have the latest database. Click CAD button to run the program. Check the DVM Pro menu on the left side, and click the first icon to enter project name, customer information and architect information. Select the city and enter the cooling, heating design temperature. Default value will be entered if the temperature value is not set. Click the second assignment icon on the zone management section to open the drawing of the building. Click the sixth process to grayscale icon on the zone management section to lock the layer, and prevent the drawing from being edited. Architectural drawing in gray color is not editable. Save a project from the DVM Pro. Do not click save button on the AutoCAD menu. All the information regarding on indoor and outdoor units is saved in the DVM Pro, and the AutoCAD file is just used to show the architectural drawing, therefore save project from project tab on DVM Pro menu to save a project. To enter the information of the building, click the first management icon on the space manage, and enter building name, floor number, floor height, distance between ceiling, you may manage and modify the building information and room information from this section afterwards. You may view the space information on the DVM Pro menu on the left side. There are two different methods for setting the floor area selection. Let us check the floor area select batch method first. After clicking the specify the zone all floor button, click the top left corner of the first floor followed by clicking the bottom right corner to set the floor area of the first floor. After selecting the first floor, you may click the second, third and fourth floor of the same size in order to set the floor area. Information of the floors that completed the floor area selection will appear in blue text. Let us use the second floor area selection method for the roof, which is called floor area individual selection. Click roof from the space information list, and click fourth specify the zone each floor icon on the space management section. Click top left corner of the floor plan for the roof, followed by clicking the bottom right corner to set the floor area selection. When you click icons on the DVM Pro, pay close attention to the commands that appears on the AutoCAD command display before using them. To select the indoor unit, click Insert Indoor Units icon. Click top left corner of the room, and then click the bottom right corner of the room to set the size of the room. Enter the room name, unit load and select the indoor unit.
for four-way cassette. You may select the placement of the indoor unit by selecting either center, or user deployment. You can set the size of the room by selecting three points, or even more precise way. When you select center for placement of the four-way cassette, you can set the placement by entering the value of number of indoor unit columns, horizontal distance between the units, vertical distance between the units and the rotation angle of the indoor unit. When you select the placement of the one-way cassette, wall mount, ceiling and console, set the distance from the wall, and drag the cursor, indoor unit will turn into a collar, where it can be placed. You may turn the direction of all the objects, that you wish to enter by using the CTRL key. Add indoor units for all the rooms by using this method. For outdoor units, click Insert Outdoor Units icon. From the architectural drawing select all the indoor units you wish to connect with the outdoor unit, and press Enter key. Select the type of the outdoor unit, enter the combination ratio and select the desired outdoor unit. Enter the outdoor unit piping direction, distance between outdoor unit and the piping, and distance between single unit. Click the desired location of the outdoor unit to place the outdoor unit.
Firstly, drop it for outdoor units. Click the drop it icon to select outdoor unit. Place the cursor to a location where you wish to input pit and click the mouse. This will copy the pit to a floor where connected indoor unit is. Let us check the method of drawing the refrigerant piping manually. Click draw piping manually icon and, when you place the cursor to the indoor unit, outdoor unit and the pit, connection point will be displayed automatically. When the connection point displays automatically, clicking the mouse will connect the piping. You may change the direction of the refrigerant piping by clicking the mouse. If you click draw piping automatically, and click the main piping, you can select the indoor units to connect the piping automatically. You may input the refrigerant joint, header, distribution kit and maku by double clicking them. Refrigerant piping for outdoor units and all the indoor units connected to outdoor units, will be connected and drawn. Check if the plan is properly done, through the system check after completing the refrigerant piping planning, through this method, draw the refrigerant piping for rest of the outdoor units. Distributor kit must be connected for wall mount type indoor units. Maku must be installed for the heat recovery models of outdoor units. Be aware of the capacity limit when using the Maku.
method for drawing drain piping is same as drawing the refrigerant piping. Firstly, click draw condensate outlets or draw vertical condensate piping icon to draw the dewatering outlets, or vertical piping. You can draw the drain piping manually, and automatically. Drawing method is same as drawing the refrigerant piping. This will connect the drain pipe to all the indoor units on each floor, excluding the outdoor units. Check if the drain pipe is planned properly, through the drain pipe system check. You may enter annotation by clicking draw piping annotation, or draw drain pipe annotation icon. You may select the desired part, or all the parts.
You may delete desired annotation or all annotations by clicking the delete annotations icon. You may also enter draw remarks on all or desired part of the drawing. When you reach the communication wire and remote wire step, all the pipe drawing will disappear. For communication wire, you may click draw communication wire icon to connect indoor unit fit and the outdoor unit. If you move the cursor near the indoor unit, connection point will be created automatically. For remote wire, connect the indoor units and then press the enter key, where you wish to install the remote controller. Move to Reporter tab, select Report Items and output the report. You may save the report in Excel file. You may draw schematic diagram of the building on the empty page of the report. It is possible to save the Excel report file. You may draw the schematic diagram in order of the icons. Click draw layer of floor icon, and click the bottom left corner, and the top right corner of the place, where it will be placed. Enter the floor level and the distance, between the floors. Place the outdoor units and the indoor units. Click top left corner, bottom left corner and click the place little bit aside from the bottom left corner to draw the vertical piping. This is only used on a floor, where vertical piping is used. Click draw drain pipe icon, select the indoor unit and press the enter key, when small square box type cursor appears, 
move it to the vertical piping, and click the mouse. You may press the up and down keys on the keyboard to adjust the height of the piping. For the floors with the watering outlets instead of the vertical piping, drain piping will be connected and displayed on the indoor unit of the schematic diagram. You may enter the outdoor unit piping information, and the remarks. You may draw the power and communication line schematic diagram in the same way.